Angie Bomb. <clears throat> it's Angie. Um, today, I'm just going to show you some buttons. Like this. Because I've lost a couple off of my sweater, and it happens to be my favorite to go sweater. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to do a tutorial on how I'm going to make them. And the first thing I did was I took some. Um, so I thought, how am I going to make these holes? So I took some, what do you call these things? Toothpicks? And anyway, um, I, I could show you how I made this, but um, honestly, if you want me to, I can, but it will probably be in a different tutorial because that's how long it took me to figure out how to get this thing put together. So anyway, but that's how I'm going to make my holes. And of course, I want my buttons to be thicker than what my pasta machine is going to do. Because see, that's my thickest. And let me pick this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see there's quite a difference. Am I close enough? There's quite a difference in the thickness between the two. So I, I'm going to have to double this up. Which is what brought me to taking these sticks. And I just crazy glued them together. Because, yeah. I would end up in a mess because it's just the way I am. They'd be flying all over the place and yeah, I would never get it right. So that's what I did. Of course, I have my paper for burnishing my, my clay. So I have a texture stamp here. Here it is. And I thought I want to put a little bit of a texture on it. Nothing major. This is from Jessica May's Designs. And it's the uh, crackle one. I don't know if you can see. I guess you can see it. So I just thought I'd use that and put just a little bit of a design on it. It's a little crummy on the back for some reason. Probably from my little pieces of clay I've got everywhere. Okay, so. Can you see? i got the little pieces. Anyway, doesn't matter. So I'm going to cut this in half. Make sure your blade's clean because sometimes I forget. And I end up making a mess. So I'm just going to approximately cut it in half. And layer them together. Let me see, kitty cat says. I don't know where you can find my cat. My little goose. Anyway, I'm going to layer them together. Try make sure there's no air. And then we'll give it a little burnish. I found myself a cool little tool for burnishing, and I guess I don't know where I put it. I've been running around here so much because my surgery is next Friday. Anyway, I'm trying to get so much done in the house prior to going because I'm not going to be able to eat or talk, which I'm sure my husband won't mind. But I will definitely be on a liquid diet for a while because my jaw. So I've just been running around and running around and running around. But that's all right. I just can't wait to get it done and over with so the pain will go away. So for now, I'll use my fingers until I can find my tool again. It's actually a tool that came with one of those Cricut... Um, so for cake designs and stuff, it's a nice little flat thing to rub. But anyway, you can use anything. The roller, like so. I'm sure that's plenty and good and burnished. So now I'll put that on my blade again. Now. Oh, that's just my iPad. My mom wants to know what I'm up to. Not much, mommy. See, and you know what? That's still not quite thick enough. Let me put my roll over and see. Oh yeah, it is just thick enough. And that's fine because this is actually even more thick than my button. And it doesn't have to be the same. But I'm still going to, after I roll this out, I'm still going to be putting a texture stamp on it, obviously. 
and it will it's going to make it a little bit thinner and that's fine because right now this is probably really thick but it's good enough so we'll pick this up as well use the right side of the blade edge like so it looks like it has a little bit of a burnish too couldn't it I don't know how I make all these marks. Must be something on my blade, which it very well could be. I do have new ones somewhere. I'm lucky that I can get them things out of there. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh well. That's pretty good. I think it is. And then I got a little something right here. See that? I wouldn't be surprised if it's some kind of glue. So let's look at this way. Do that. Yeah, that was better. We'll use that as the back. This is the front. Excuse me for my nasal problems. Just give this a push. And I'll do what Grissom does to me with his little sharp claws. Little bugger. I gotta have all kinds of thickness of material on me if he does, because it hurts. There. There. Now let's see if I can cut seven out of here, because that's what I need. Seven. This is the cutter I'm using. I just hope it's yeah, thick enough. I feel like I don't have a lot of light here for some reason. I don't know why. But let's just see what we get out of this. I'm going to turn if I can. One. Kind of took up my texture a little bit. Two. Oh, three. <laughs> this takes exercise, I guess. Four. I'm trying to see if I can make it so that I can get the extra one out. Six. Let's see if I can get a seven here. I sure can. Here's my seven. Now I'll tell you, there's some suction going on in there. Now this is just plain black. Only because you can see the color of my sweater. And yes, I do have it on. It's comfy, it has pockets. I like it. Definitely gonna have to clean up my sides a bit. Don't think my claw cutter was quite deep enough. That's okay. We can fix all that. Here's my little sharpie tool. Make sure I'm still in with screenshot. Just trim these up. Here I go quiet because I'm concentrating. Enough. Well, I can always sand these after, too. I feel like I just ruined my table. Or that I'm just going crazy. Mm. 
Yeah. After I get these trimmed up, I'm just going to put them on paper and put them in the oven for about an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Depends on how my patients are. Sometimes my patients aren't that great and I just want to get them out. I'm doing an, a double bake. I'll take them out earlier because I know they're going to go back in. Well, I just dropped something. Oh well, I don't know what it was, but I'll find it later. <laughs> now. I'll just sand them after. Give them a good sand. I don't like messing with them too much before baking them. Because my tendency is to mess them up. And I don't want to do that. Okay, where's my um, lovely little design here? I hope they're thick enough. Now this is going to be tricky for me, trying to get them in the center. They look... Yes. Oops. I'm going to go with that one. That top is not smooth. It has the little fingers. That's not too bad. I'll give you a closer look. This can, well, I'm going to have to drill them out a little bit afterwards anyway, because it didn't go all the way through. But that looks okay, I think. Yeah. I can even take my tool here, push it through, and get a little wiggle. So I don't like doing too much with the log, right? Because I just don't want to make a mess of it. But now it's gone through. But I think I'll just take a drill after the hand drill and do it that way. But I'll just give them little pokes before putting them in the oven. Trying to make sure I have it as centered as possible. Well, I don't really think anybody's going to have their face up to my sweater that close to see how good my buttons look. But, you know, if I were to want to sell these or something, not that I've ever tried, yeah, I'd want them pretty good. But you could even make, like say, for example, take a cover of something and put these through that and just glue it on, right? Probably this way. To the size of your buttons. If you understand what I'm saying, because half the time I don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Cut them off. That one's not perfect, but it's okay. It's just for me. I'm definitely not perfect. <laughs> Cut them off. Come on. There we go. Well, not that I feel something here, but I'll cut that off. There. But I thought these were a cute way to make buttons. If you, like for me, I ran out and I didn't run out. <laughs> I lost two. I didn't know where they went. So, I make my own. I need better lighting down here. Down here in my dungeon. <laughs> that looks all right. 
there there's my seven buttons right right seven so I'm gonna bake these anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and when they're done whoops um, I'll come back and we'll just give them a little sand and I might buff them a little bit and see how they look but that was this one not oops stop spinning there we go I think they'll be okay so I'll see you in a bit it bit it in a minute give me time to come up see you in a minute all right folks I'm back this these ones are ready which ones at the back and I just gave them a little bit of a buff I've also done these ones too but these are two holes that I did it's much easier by the way just in case you're wondering um and all I did with these two is I just buffed them and they came out really nice. They have a nice shine on them. And I didn't use any Renaissance wax or anything on them. Just buffed them. Sand it and buffed. And all I used for this sander was this sanding block. For these, I just, I used a file, as you can see, it's black. I used a file to get the sides here nice and uh, smooth, which I'll show you on my seventh month here. So I just sand it around here just so we can get it nice and smooth it doesn't take much because this is one of the rougher ones you want to get is you don't want it all that little edge sticking out so just get that edge off You can get them in different coarseness. And I don't know. Just double check and make them sure I get them all nice and even. Let's see. Oh, pretty good. And then I'll just take it on my block here. And smooth the back off some. Obviously, we can't do the front, but the backs are already pretty good. So, and then I'll take my buffer to it. And of course, we know that's really loud. So, she's just my Dremel that I have. Oops, my Dremel and my laughing top. I'm using my wheel a lot, but these came in a package at 20 or 25 off of Amazon. See, I've got it right here because you never know. Man, I always move and stuff around, but they work really well. Of course, it's made in China. Twenty pieces. Yep. Anyway, these are what I use. One of these days, I might get a little brave and see if I can make my own because I'm sure there's not much to making these and I've seen online where different people do make them but anyway those are my buttons and I'll buff this one later because I don't want to deafen anybody and there's my other buttons just pick up a couple this is all I can seem to handle that's the two holes and these were made from a rose cane that I had made Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and until next time, well, I'm going to try and get as many done up ahead of time as I can, because like I said, once I go and after my surgery, I'm not going to be doing anything for a while. I might be in a little rough shape. Actually, now I will, because I've already had it done before. So anyway, take care, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.